Dig in holes. Dig in holes. <laughs> I'm digging <in> holes. <laughs> Guys, got it. He still got it. So, as we wrap up, this is a big time in the life of Matt Riddle. As you look back on your first <laughs> few years <laughs> on the independent circuit, what stands out to you about the experience you've had? You know, uh, the biggest things that stick out to me are just the opportunities I've been given. I've been really lucky. You know, I, I think my background helped me out, but I think I've talked to enough people and I've been in the business long enough where I know, especially with my past, because people were really hesitant to deal with me, that I just I worked really hard and I just got awesome opportunities. And and like if I if there's a couple things I remember that really like make me happy so far, like guys like Shibata giving me opportunities, guys like that, like coming to the Indies and, you know, brushing shoulders with me, especially stuff like that. Like th those are big moments or even like the biggest shows or, Hey, Matt Riddle's blood sport. That's been really cool. And I think we're going to do multiple other ones in the future. So hopefully we keep that going. It would be a neat trick. Yeah. Matt, I want to thank you so much. It was good seeing your face and your somewhat mediocre hair. I don't know, man. The hair, you got it's yeah. kind of moldy right now with your with the hat hair. I always rock hat hair, bro. You seen Brian Pillman Jr. rocking the full mullet, dude? I hang out with Brian Pillman Jr. We're the Hollywood Bros. He is. He is a. When people ask me how he is, I say suspiciously nice. That guy. He is just super nice. Yeah. What a good. gentleman. I I really like him. He's a good guy. He's pretty hilarious. He is. He keeps it real. Yeah. He, you know, he's a real bro. He's And he's doing things the right way. He could have just hopped in and got some turd-level indie bookings based on who his dad was. No, he's like, oh, let me go to OVW. Then let me go up and train with Sammy Callahan. Oh, by the way, I'm going to go not even, not even like Eastern Canada. I'm going to go all the way to Western Canada and train under Lance Storm. He's doing things the right way. He's doing good things. He's also been training MMA as well. Has he? He's been doing jujitsu and kickboxing. Like the guys, really, I really think in a couple of years, you know, he, I think it's going to be something serious. I think right at first people are like, oh, that's kind of cool. But when the kid can work and actually do something crazy, it's like people are really going to get behind it. Well, I know WWE like him. Yet another thing you two have in common. Anyway, Matt. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much. Any parting words? You know, hey, thanks for having me. It was so nice to talk to you. It's yeah. Nice yeah, I tried to talk to you ahead of blood sport and you just evaporated into thin Bro, air. My schedule before blood sport, my schedule WrestleMania weekend, I still haven't recovered from that shit. You don't even you didn't do anything that weekend. <laughs> you did wrestle another former Fightful contributor, Deanna Perrazzo, who got signed I by did. WWE. And I was victorious. You were. You were. It was a fluke, but you were victorious. Well, I guess Sean Pearson was on. He beat me. But that's, a, that's bullshit because that was a Canadian decision. In <laughs> Vegas, I win. Uh, I, in Japan, I win. I had the heart in that fight. You beat Jason Kincaid, too. He writes for us. Oh, yeah, I did at AAW in Chicago. You're 2-1. and one. You're, that's that's pretty good. I'd say two and a half. Because Let, I let's say that that, that that's a UFC me. title shot right there, two and one these days. I'm shocked they haven't called me and been like, Matt, we're bringing you back. I'm shocked. You are, are you? That, do you think they will? Because I think they will. Yeah, they probably will, and I'll be like, this is this is the saddest day of both our lives. <laughs> <laughs> they hit you with that 500k plus pay per view points. What are you gonna do? Do they still make that kind of money? Do they still push numbers? Well, I mean, that's probably – I doubt it, but, I mean, you're getting the 500K plus pay-per-view points. I mean, that's not bad. Yeah. Then again, I had to let somebody commit or try to commit extreme violence on my body. So, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Or I could win in 10 seconds and be a real star. But then they'd want me to fight again, and it'd be a whole nightmare. And then I'd have to travel and fight on Sundays at 2 o'clock in the afternoon for fans Man. that really don't like me. So it's just, 
Uh, the USA Network would love you then. Matthew, thank you so much. Hey, follow me on social media. It's Super King of Bros now, yeah? A Super King of Bros at Twitter. Uh, Riddle Bro on Instagram. Matthew Riddle at Facebook. That's it.